What's good, Commanders fans? So it's Dallas week, man. Commanders versus Cowboys. It doesn't even sound right. It sounds really weird, to be honest with you. Um, is it a rivalry anymore? Technically, it is, but the buzz has just been so dry. Like, it's a 1 o'clock game on Fox. I live in Baltimore, and they're not even showing the game. Like, they're showing the Ravens. Of course, they're showing the Ravens versus Bills, but the game's not even being televised. You know, and that, that basically tells you this is this is Baltimore right next to D.C., right next to P.G. County, not far, 45 minutes to an hour away. And they're not even showing the game on their local broadcasting. When you this game should be if it was really a rivalry, it'd be at four o'clock or national TV, in my opinion. But the rivalry is is basically it's very dry. That's all I'm gonna say, man. I'm not gonna say it's dead, but it, it's dry, man. It is. It is what it is. It's unfortunate um, that it's, it's come to this. Um, but it's you know we we just gotta start winning some games, man. And then the name change too. It does affect it a little bit, but um, it's just it's a it's a, it's a it's a dwindling rivalry, and that's all I'm gonna say on that. Um. But let's let's go over the injury report and then we'll do keys to, keys to victory. You know, it's, it's kind of like preaching to the choir, especially with this coaching staff. I'm just really down on Scott Turner. I'm down on Jack. I'm down on Ron. Um, but I still I, I think they have a legitimate chance to win this game. I really do. I really even though Gallup is back, um, which our corners, you know, Kendall Fuller can't cover anybody. Um, Wild Goose, I don't know if he's going to have to play or not. Uh, William Jackson should be back, from what I've heard and seen. Ben St. Juice did a great job, last, or not great, he did a good job last week, but our secondary can't cover anybody. Um, but yeah, let's let's go with the injury report real quick. Storylines and whatnot. Um, so Wes Schweitzer's out with a concussion. Nick Martin should be playing, and he should. I hope he starts. Uh, he did play with Carson Wentz at the Senior Bowl. His brother, Zach Martin, on the Cowboys, he's actually 2-0 versus his brother, so maybe that could help us out. You know, maybe it could give, give us some good fortune. Some good fortune. Charles Lando limited. He's questionable. Hopefully he can play. If not, Cornelius Lucas has to play. Sadiq Charles, full participant. Everybody else is healthy. Uh, Milo Eifler, Sam Cosme's healthy. It should be good to go. William Jackson's good to go. He, had, he was a full participant today. Ben St. Juice, a full participant. Casey Tuhill should be playing. And Daniel Wise. I think those guys were out last week. Doesn't really matter. Now, Brian Robinson and Chase Young. They're eligible to return next week, but, you know, we'll see what happens. We just don't know yet. We just don't know. Dr. A James Andrews came uh, last week to check on Chase Young, and he said some good things. But Ron Rivera, you know, was saying, hey, we'll see. they, they got to check some things out to see if they if these guys can play. Um, on Dallas' side, Dak is not playing. Michael Gallup is back. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence is playing. Everybody else is playing who's on the injury list. Like Simi Fajoko, Dalton Schultz is questionable. We'll see. Connor McGovern is questionable. J. Ron Kirsch, uh, and their linebacker, Luke Gifford, is on the injury list too with a hamstring um, injury, but he is a full participant. So that's about it right there. Um, but yeah, basically, my keys, man. Get the ball to Terry McLaurin, man. It, it, I'm tired of seeing, you know, he cooked Trayvon Diggs that first game. I want to see him cook him again. We can finally, everything we say this all season, we got a quarterback. They can throw the ball downfield when Carson wins. So this brings me to Price Picks. So Price Picks, make sure you guys use my promo code Real Ed Oliver, and then use the link down below in the description. Uh, first time users, you get a fifty dollar de deposit match. You download the app. Price Picks is real easy. It's over under. So the first over under that I chose this week is Carson Wentz, two hundred twenty nine, two hundred twenty nine and a half yards passing yards. I'm gonna take the over on that. He, he, you know, he's racked up passing yards. You know, Scott Turner, he just wants to throw the ball every time. So I take the over on Carson Wentz, 229 and a half passing yards. Gibson, 56 and a half rushing yards. I'm going to take the under on that. Unfortunately, we need to run the football. We need to run it. It's imperative. That's my key to the key to victory. We're going to have to run the football. We're going to have to establish some type of run game. But I got us going under. Even though the Cowboys, they gave up a good amount of rushing yards to Leonard Fournette. They gave up a good, run, a good amount of rushing yards to Saquon Barkley as well. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to take the over on Gibson. You know what? I, I'm going to take the over 50 sec, 56 and a half rushing yards. I'm going to take the over on Gibby. Jahan Dotson, this one is a layup to me. His over under is 33 and a half yards receiving. Now, he didn't he didn't do much against the Eagles, but I'm going to take the over on him. The over under on Terry, 53 and a half rush, uh, receiving yards. I'm going to take the over on that. So, it's real easy. Daily fantasy made easy with prize picks. You pick two to five players, and if they score more or less than their prize picks projection, you can win up to 10 times your money on your first entry or any entry. First time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with promo code Real Ed 
Oliver. So you type that in and the, the, use my link down in the description box and it's real easy for you guys. So check that out. Um, my other keys to victory. Yeah, you got my first key is really get the ball to Terry McLaurin. The first half, he's been a, they haven't even used him. You gotta get the ball to our weapons, man. Slants, screens, shallow cross. I don't care what it is. You gotta get him the football. You gotta get your best player on offense the football. Really the best player on your team. You cannot keep waiting to the second half. And these slow starts, these slow starts are just killing us. Ron Rivera, there's there's numbers showing that we've had slow starts. Being down 24-0 against the Eagles, being down 22-0 against the Lions, is inexcusable. All these slow starts, getting skunked. Then we finally want to wake up and decide to play football after that. That's a big reason why Ron Rivera should be on the hot seat if we don't make the playoffs by, by the end of the season. It's not how many losses you have. It's how you lose these games. And we're starting off too slow and we're way underprepared. We just don't look like an NFL football team in the first half of games. We just don't. We get bullied. We get pushed around. And we can't stop anybody. It's happened way too many times under Ron Rivera. Way too many times. Get the ball out quick. Easier said than done. Scott Turner, he just likes to drop uh, Carson Wentz back, you know, seven step, seven step drops and whatnot. Got to get the ball out quick. I want to see a tight end screen, man. The tight end screen of Armani Rogers worked week one. Where did that go? Use Jaden McKissick in the past game. Hit the check down, Carson. You know, take the layups. You cannot hold on to the ball too long. I know the offensive line is not great. Andrew Norwell, the Commanders, and Trey Turner, they struggled last week. Cosme struggled a couple times. They struggled against the Lions, too, but they got to get the ball out quick. Some screens, some quick hitters. Quick game, up tempo. I want to see some no huddle. Switch it up, Scott. Got to run the football too, man. Like I said, the uh, Cowboys are twenty third in rushing yards allowed. They're twenty third in yards per carry allowed. Like I said, they gave up a lot of yards to Leonard Fournette. They gave up a lot of yards to Saquon Barkley as well. They struggle to stop the run. Uh, Chris Cooley called Scott Turner, their coach, up idiots for not running the ball against the Eagles. It was working against the Eagles. Scott just didn't commit to it. He's very finesse. He wants to throw the football, but you got to help your quarterback out with having some type of run game. Switching up so the play action can work. If teams believe that you can, that you're going to run the ball, then they're just, they're not going to pin their ears back like the Eagles didn't get got nine sacks. Uh, protect Carson Wentz, of course. Micah Parsons, man, he he's just a heck of a player, man. He's a heck of a player. You're going to have to stop him. You're going to have to chip him and contain him. Same thing with Demarcus Lawrence, man. They had a really good game against uh, Daniel Jones, and Carson's going to have to run and use his legs, man. He's going to have to be very mobile, use his legs. He's just going to have to. He's going to be under duress this game. It's going to be a lot of pressure with their front four. He's going to have to move around and run. And he ran the one time he did run against the Eagles, he picked up yards. So he's going to have to use his legs. Daniel Jones really had to use his legs for sure. Um, Ron Rivera, challenge flags, two-point conversions, four downs. You have to be smart with your decision making. You cannot be lollygagging and being late throwing the challenge flag. You have to throw it out. If you believe there's a real challenge, you have to be smart with it. No silly challenge like the, the Jags game where it wasn't where everybody knew you weren't going to win that challenge. Uh, two-point conversion, you have to be smart with it. The terrible two-point conversion against the Lions. Fourth downs as well. Fourth and one on your own 49. Just the flow of the game. you got to have the flow of the game and the right decision-making. The Ron Rivera is really bad. He's underwhelming with decision-making um, in games. He really is. Timeouts, clock management, he's really underwhelming with that. Now, Mike McCarthy with the quarterback sneaks, he's bad at it too. Um, and the Cowboys are undi undisciplined team. They have a lot of penalties every single year. So we got to be. we have to be a disciplined team and no penalties. Uh, offensive line has to hold up, contain Market Parsons. I already talked about that. Um, and target Anthony Brown. He's the weak link in that, on that defense with their cornerbacks. Um, and use Jaden McKissick against their, um, I guess their linebackers as well. And I want to see Jonathan Williams too, man. Give him a chance. Let him run the football. If you don't trust Antonio Gibson, then run the ball with Jonathan Williams and run the ball with Jaden McKissick. We have to establish some type of running game. Um, defense contains Zeke and Pollard. Um, can we, can we force a turnover? Can we create a turnover? We're worse in the league in turnovers. We're, we're like the worst in turn, turnover di differential. We don't create turnovers. We just don't. We don't have a lot of playmakers on this defense right now that force turnovers. Maybe Deron Payne, John Allen. That's about it. We drop interceptions. We just don't take, we don't take the ball away enough. We just don't. I want to see Montez Sweat wake up. He usually does well against Dallas too. So I want to see Montez Sweat wake up and make a play. That's what I want to see. Um, get pressure on Cooper Rush, man. He's he's a really good backup. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's, he's had some good games. Uh, limit back big plays. Contain contain uh, C D Lamb. He's gonna give you some drops. He's gonna drop the football, but you know he makes plays. He does. Gallup too. Kendall Fuller's got to step up. Ben Saints, you've got to step up. Cam Curl. The whole secondary is a unit. Derek Forrest. They got to step up and make plays, man. Um, Tyler Smith. He's their rookie on the offensive line, so I want to see Montez Sweat go at him. He had a holding penalty last week against the Giants and a false start. So, you know, he's a rookie. You got to go at him. He's penalty prone. He led Tulsa with penalties as well in college. So I take a look at him on that offensive line. Um, 
third down defense. We've done a pretty good job on third downs, actually. You know, we've just been giving up big plays. That's the thing. We get stops on third down, but we give up big plays on first and second down. So it's a misleading stat this year. Even though last year we were so awful, we made improvements on third now. Uh, but I want to see that first half defense. If we can play like we did in the first quarter, like the uh, like we did against the Eagles, then, hey, we got a chance. But, you know, they got too tired and gassed because the offense wasn't giving it. It was three and out, three and out, sack after sack after sack, and fumbling the ball in our own territory. So we just didn't help the defense out. We have to play complimentary football like we did in that four-game winning streak where we were running the football with Antonio Gibson and doing it successfully, you know. So we got to help each other out, defense and offense. Um, special teams, too. Dax Mill, I want to see something. Make some type of play. Do something. Give some type of positive yards. And Kevontae Turpin, man, watch out for him. He's a really good returner, so... Got to be careful with that guy. Um, let's see here. So my my uh, prediction for this game, uh, I got us losing, man, 23-20. I think it's going to be a close game, but I just don't trust this coaching staff. We always start off start off slow. I think we're going to start off slow again. We're going to be down 10-0, to and then we're going to come back and make it competitive. Um, and then it's going to be 23-20. Joey Sly's got to make his all, all his kicks, too. He hasn't kicked a field goal yet. I think he'll finally kick a field goal on Sunday. Um, but I got us, I got us losing 23-20. There's just no, I have no faith in this coaching staff. Scott Turner, I have zero faith, man. I really, I hate to sound like this and doom and gloom. I know it's a, it's a, it's a rainy day outside, very gloomy in the DMV today. But uh, what they've shown me the last two weeks, man, I, I actually have them. I hate to give away my predictions, but I actually have us winning the next two games. I, I believe that we're going to beat the Titans next week. I really do. I, I, I could be foolish believing that, but I have a, I really have a feeling we're going to beat those two teams. I, I got the feeling we're going to beat the Titans and the Bears. But I think we're going to lay an egg this week. And then Ron Rivera, you know, this is a Ron's MO. He'll look bad to start off the season. And then he'll look a little bit better in October, November. Just like last year, we went on 6-6. Six and six. We went on that win streak. Um, and then the year before that, when we went 7-9, and nine, we started off slow. And then Ron Rivera woke up and we played better. So I think that's going to happen again this year. So, um, But 23-20, disappointing loss. But they played better. They played with better effort. They played smarter than what they did last week. So that's my prediction. You guys let me know what you guys think. Healthy Commanders, peace.